Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at using Hot Corners on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So Hot Corners are kind of like keyboard shortcuts except you don't use your keyboard at all. Instead, you use your mouse or trackpad to move your pointer to one of the four corners of the screen. This can activate a variety of different functions. To configure Hot Corners, go to System Settings and then go to Desktop and Dock. And then look at the bottom for a button for Hot Corners. When you click the button, you get this interface here that shows you the four corners of your screen and you get to choose the shortcut that each corner activates. You may find that Quick Note is already set up as the bottom right corner. So when you move your pointer to the bottom right hand corner you'll see your Quick Note peek out there in the corner and you can click it to access the Quick Note's functionality. But if you'd rather not have that there you can select this menu here and simply go to the dash at the bottom. This deactivates the hot corner. So all four hot corners now don't do anything at all. But let's say I wanted to use one like the top right hand corner. I can select from the list here something for it to do. Like for instance for it to activate Mission Control. So if I turn on Mission Control for this all I need to do now to activate that is move my pointer up to the upper right hand corner. I'm not going to click on anything or do anything else except actually move the pointer all the way up into the corner. And you can see that activates Mission Control just as easily as a keyboard shortcut or clicking on a Mission Control icon in the dock. It's easy to hit the corner because even if you hit the top of the screen first or the side of the screen first and you just continue to go diagonally you'll eventually put the pointer in the corner. I use the Escape key here to exit Mission Control and let's look at some of the other functions. You can have it go to Application Windows also known as App Expose. This brings up all of the windows for the current app. So for instance let's say I'm in Pages here and I have three Pages documents open. Now going to the top right hand corner or bring up App Expose I see the three windows nicely separated and can choose one and I also see Recent Documents here at the bottom. And I'll use the Escape key to exit from that. The next item here is Desktop. So this will clear off all of the windows and give you access to the things on your desktop. So for instance if I have all those Pages windows open and System Preferences now if I go to the top right you can see everything gets pushed off to the sides and if I have any icons here like files or hard drives I can easily access them. I can click here on the side and exit that mode. Next we've got Notification Center which you can usually bring up by using a gesture on your trackpad or you can click on the clock at the top right hand corner but now with a hot corner I don't need to click on anything. I can move my pointer there and Notification Center comes up. Next we've got Launchpad, a quick way to launch apps and you can bring that up with a hot corner. We've seen Quick Note already and we also have the ability to start the screensaver. So whatever screensaver I have set will now begin when I move to the top right hand corner. There's also Disable Screensaver. This works differently. Nothing actually happens when you put your pointer in the corner now. But Screensaver won't start. So say you have your screensaver set to go on after 15 minutes. Well if you put your pointer up in the upper right hand corner that won't happen. So it's an easy way to disable the screensaver temporarily in a specific situation without having to change your settings. Next we have Put Display to Sleep. So it will put your Mac to sleep when you move your pointer there. The quickest and easiest way to actually make your Mac sleep besides closing the lid if it's a MacBook. And then you have a way to just go immediately to the lock screen. And of course the last one is to have it turned off. And you can use all of these on any of the four hot corners. So you can set each one up to do something different or if you decide you just want to have multiple ways to get to the same function you can use the same function in two or more hot corners. Now you may think that it's a little too easy to accidentally put your pointer into a corner and activate something. But you can also set a modifier key for a hot corner. So if I were to click here to look at this menu and say hold the Command key down you could see how the Command key symbol appears next to each item. So if I were to select say Launchpad now if I put my pointer at the top right hand corner it doesn't activate. But if I hold the Command key down and move the pointer there then it does activate. And note that if you move the pointer there and then hold Command down it doesn't do anything. The modifier key has to be held down before you move to the corner. Now you can set this up to be any of the modifier keys. So you can use Option, 
you can use Control, you can use Shift, or you can use a combination. So I could do Shift Command and now Launchpad will only happen if I move to the top right hand corner with Command and Shift both held down. Unfortunately there's no way to set up multiple commands for one hot corner. Like one thing to happen if the Command key is held down and another thing to happen if the Shift key is held down. Another thing to keep in mind is hot corners usually act as a toggle. So for instance I have the upper right hand corner set for Mission Control. So if I move my pointer to the upper right hand corner it activates Mission Control. And now I can go and use Mission Control. But if I'm in Mission Control and I go to the top right hand corner it will turn off Mission Control. That happens for just about any of these. So for instance if I use Launchpad and I go up to the top right hand corner I'm now on Launchpad. Going back up there will get out of Launchpad. Now all of these will happen instantly if you move your pointer to the corner. Except Display Screen Saver of course doesn't do anything. It just prevents something from happening. Likewise Start Screen Saver can be used to delay locking because if you go to your lock screen options here then you could set the require password after Screen Saver begins to a certain time. So you can use a hot corner to activate the Screen Saver and then have your computer lock after 5 minutes or better yet 1 minute or 5 seconds. That way moving your pointer up there works as a lock but with kind of a delay. Here's another tip. If you want to change up hot corners all the time it can be kind of a pain to go to System Settings and then go to Desktop and Dock and then scroll down to the bottom and then click on Hot Corners. Well you can create a shortcut to do that. In order to do that you need to use the Open URL action and use the special URL here. And this when you run the shortcut will open up System Settings and go right to Hot Corners. So you can add that to the menu bar here for quick access or put it in the Services menu or at a keyboard shortcut. So Hot Corners are easy to set up. If you haven't been using them I encourage you to try them out. They're very easy to change. If you find that you're triggering it by accident too often add a modifier key to it and see if this little known feature of Mac OS can help improve your productivity. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.